Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out the incredible Twin Dragons released on Blu-ray by Idiot Films. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. I am super excited to finally have this Jackie Chan classic available on Blu-ray. Thank you Idiot Films for releasing Twin Dragons, and especially in this gorgeous packaging with uh, more incredible artwork from Sean Longmore. I adore this film and I have loved it ever since it came out on video of course, uh, way back when. I'll get into this new one as soon as I share with you my very first introduction which was via uh, Imperial Entertainment I believe. Yep, Imperial Entertainment which uh, was a video distributor that released quite a lot of amazing Hong Kong movie titles and this was my first watch of Jackie Chan's Twin Dragons and I have, I mean I've seen it uh, since then, uh, many times I do have a DVD version I'm going to share with you. I did catch the Dimension US release, which was god awful, as uh, from what I can remember. But also that quality of the effect of having two Jackies, I remember it being a wee bit more pulled apart. I always felt it looked good, it looked better <laughs> on video. But now the Blu ray and this restoration is going to uh, let me see it in a whole new light, let's just say. But I adore this film, I think it is friggin hilarious, uh, especially the English dub. There's just something about this particular dub, not the Dimension one, this particular one that I found to be highly entertaining. There's a lot of fantastic lines throughout there. Um, but this was a good, this ran for a hundred minutes, which is pretty close to its uh, full running time. Uh, later on in the years, I did pick up the legendary collection uh, DVD release from Hong Kong uh, running at 99 minutes there so similar I suppose could be the same cut there but this was the first time I was able to watch it in its Cantonese language with English subtitles which was wonderful of course that was a joy to me to be able to see this in its original um, language which was great but uh, so much fun such an incredible movie the one and only time of course that directors Choi Hark and Ringo Lam worked with Jackie Chan as such, it was a charity movie uh, produced by Ng Si Yoon, I believe, and, and a couple of other directors in there. Uh, but it was really a who's who of Hong Kong cinema, um, minus Samuel Hung and Yoon Byo, unfortunately. Uh, that could have been a totally different movie altogether. But we do get two Jackie Chans. We do get Maggie Jung, we get Nina Lee Chi, um, Kirk Wong's in there. There's a whole host of incredible people show up throughout this and I, I just love it. I think it's incredible. Let me get stuck into this because this is definitely a film for me, definitely a film worthy of this deluxe edition. Uh, absolutely. I know most of Jackie's, there's a few there, have got that special deluxe edition of course, Armour God, Dragons Forever. So it's interesting to see them choose Twin Dragons uh, almost to, in comparison with Armour of God and Dragons Forever when they are considered some of the, the finest of Hong Kong uh, action movies and the finest of Jackie's. Twin Dragons never really pops up on people's lists as one of his best. So it was interesting whenever they did announce that they were putting this into a deluxe edition. I'm very, very happy, of course. And again, look at this absolutely wonderful Yin Yang inspired artwork from Sean Longmore. It is just friggin' incredible. So colorful, I absolutely adore it. And then on the spine here, as you can see, then we've got a bit of dark and light. So on the back, the, uh, the, the spread there, I'm going to try and pick this off gently uh, just, to, um, just to share with you what's behind here. I'm not too sure what's behind here. I'm hoping that there's something behind here. Of course there is. Oh my God, that is just beautiful. Oh, okay, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Oh. Wow. Oh my God, it gets even better. Okay, so here's the front, as you can see, and on the back. 
look at that isn't that just frigging gorgeous wow well done sean absolutely friggin beautiful my goodness me need to flip it need to flip it i mean if you have not already seen twin dragons where have you been this is just one of the funniest jackie chan movies honestly the fights and the stunt work are so much freaking fun like there's some stunt work in here that really will have you on the edge of your seat it's pretty incredible uh also interesting that this is coming out just kind of after idiot's release of uh van damme's double impact which this has been kind of like the both movies have been kind of knocking around as if this is a, a hong kong remake of double impact let's say um but this is just beautiful absolutely beautiful okay i'm gonna pop this back on so i can share with you Oh, the extra features, because it looks like there's quite a few here. Okay, uh, let's see. The extra features included on this Twin Dragons Deluxe Edition from Idea Films are the Hong Kong cut at 104 minutes, featuring Cantonese mono and alternate Cantonese mono mix. Also the Cantonese home video mix with English subtitles and the SDH. Uh, then there's the English dub mono. Again, not too sure which dub it will be. You've also got the Dimension Films version with 5.1 and SDH at 89 minutes. Um, audio commentary with Hong Kong cinema experts Frank Jang and FJ DeSanto on the Hong Kong cut. Interview with actors Tong Wei and James Ha. Uh, a scene from the Japanese version. Interesting. Can't wait for that. Uh, Taiwanese deleted scenes. Can't wait for that. Archive EPK Q&A. Archive Jackie Chan interview. Archival behind the scenes footage, Hong Kong trailer, English trailer, Japanese trailer, Japanese TV spot, UK VHS trailer, English opening and closing, uh, credits, reversible sleeve featuring original Hong Kong poster art. Fan friggin-tastic. <gasps> oh my goodness, so excited. Of course, also in there you've got the rigid slipcase featuring brand new artwork by Sean Longmore for four four double-sided collector's postcards, fold-out double-sided poster featuring two original pieces of artwork, freaking yes, a limited edition 80-page perfect bound book including the twin effect, how to double a dragon by Thorsten Boos, and twin dragons dual personas, Jackie Chan's bridge between the 80s and 90s by Paul Bramhall. Very, very good. Super excited. This is just fantastic oh my god what a film interestingly uh rated pg on the video on the uk video release and now bumped to a 12 there uh okay let me get stuck in uh because there's a lot a lot to enjoy i don't know what to go for first i'll go with the i'll go with the disc okay inside of course opens up with sean's artwork uh, i'm gonna slip that case out oh Gosh, how freaking exciting! Inside here we have got the lobby cards or postcards as you can see and the disc which is pretty cool and that features the artwork that you can see on the back here. Uh, let me pop this out to share with you. Whoa, this is so cool! Okay, oh shit. Right, okay, so Sean's artwork which again I do love but Obviously, as he has graced that incredible box there, I will be flipping it round to enjoy this, which is pretty friggin' cool. I always liked the UK video release. It was it was just quite simple, having these two different kinds of Jackies. Um, and interesting also how it was, uh, it was done in a similar way, but with two different costume Jackies there, as you can see on the Hong Kong uh dvd release but that's pretty sweet i like that i'm gonna flip that round <laughs> super excited i really can't wait to get back in and watch this i am so happy that it is it's finally on blu-ray <laughs> it's there's still quite a few movies um of jackies that we're waiting for to come out on blu-ray and i really hope that idiot are going to follow up uh island of fire i'd love to see uh fantasy mission force Magnificent Bodyguards, uh, and quite a few others. We know that the likes of Drunken Master 2 and Rumble in the Bronx are coming out uh, in an HMV exclusive from Warner later this year, which is wonderful. In fact, quite possibly this month. Um, 
So this is a really good time for Jackie fans, uh, which is wonderful. And I ha also have just got through the door here, uh, Hidden Strike on Blu-ray, which I'm going to share with you very, very soon. Okay, let's see. So these are all very, very different. Um, this is pretty funny, though. <laughs> okay, this is the, lo the lobby cards or the postcards. As you can see, the first one and on the back, they're all very, very different. That's a pretty funny one, though. I like that. This one is similar to the Hong Kong uh, DVD, as you can see, which I do like. And on the back, more a black and white version of the cover that I've just uh, replaced in the DVD or in the Blu-ray. Sorry, as you can see. Um, this is an interesting one. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know what to expect in here. It's uh, it's nice to sort of get surprised with some things and on the other side here, you can see. But they're all very, very cool. And then, oh, wow. This is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Really excited for the posters. Um, don't know which, which ones they're gonna be. I don't know what artwork they're gonna be, but let me just pop that back in there. And set this to the side so I can get into everything else. <gasps> I'll do the book last because the book looks amazing. It is pretty packed. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. This is pretty freaking sweet. Love it. Uh, I haven't seen the other side yet. Don't know what to expect. <laughs> I'm hoping for Sean's artwork, but I have a funny feeling I'm not going to get it. But this is pretty cool. That I would definitely put into a frame. That is awesome. Love it. And on the other side, yeah. Okay, so we didn't get Sean's artwork, as expected. <laughs> Still, this is quite cool. Uh, and obviously has this array of people in the background. Mm. I would say most of whom appear in it, but I don't know. I'm seeing Samu Hung there. Um, I don't remember Samu appearing in there. He's down here. He's, he's in it a couple of times. Um, but who knows? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But this is pretty cool. I really, really like that. Uh, really like that. But this I like more so. If I was to frame one, it would be this. I'm just going to wait though, because uh, as I said before, we are going to be moving soon and I don't want to be getting any uh, any new stuff into frames too soon so that they have to take off the wall very, very quick. This is fucking beautiful. <gasps> okay, there's the front cover of the book, as you can see. Very, very nice. And on the other side, <laughs> more God of Gambler style <laughs> in, in some respects. But... Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Will I get through every page with you here? Who knows? Let's have a look. This is just beautiful. And of course, Teddy Robin Kwan. How could I forget? There he is. My goodness. Such a great um, role for him in this. Uh, a lot of fun. Him and Jackie. And Jackie uh, really hit it off so well. There's so much to enjoy in this. It's all just... Seeing these pictures is all just flooding back to me, but I adore this film so much. I'm so excited to see it here in HD. I really cannot wait. Uh, I'm not too sure if there is a restoration on there. It didn't. It wasn't noted um, on the uh, on the cover. I will have to go back and look at Idiot's site just to reconfirm that. Regardless, I think it's going to blow me away. No, I know it's going to blow me away. That Dimension Home Video cover, and all, oh my god, it was dreadful. I remember hiring this out with a friend in Missouri when I was out staying in Missouri, and I was saying to him, this is going to be amazing, along with Project A, the Dimension release of Project A. This is going to blow your mind. This is just one of the best. And we were, well, I know he was disappointed because those American edits were just friggin' dreadful. And... I was disappointed because this, these, were, these weren't the movies that I was so used to seeing. Uh, definitely not the, the movies that 
I was excited for and I just felt so let down. But then I also remember Jackie quoting uh, after coming out, I think it was maybe Operation Condor or something like that and kind of making a quote uh, along the lines of what the hell have they done to my movie. So it's understandable um, that they're making it for the American market as such. But they just they did they just weren't the same movies uh, that that I had seen from my childhood, and I really was disappointed in that. But this booklet is fantastic. There is a lot to enjoy there. There's so much to enjoy there. Wow. I mean, I actually can't wait to sit down and just read, read, read. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay. Wow. I mean, that's going to take me some time to sit through. I am going to try my best though. So, and get through as much of this disc as I possibly can, if I can get it all back in here. Um, yeah, this is wonderful. This is such an exciting release. Um, due out, I think, on the 18th of September from Idiot Films. So I'm gonna go check it out, check everything out, uh, come right back and let you know what I think. So just back after checking out the 88 films Blu-ray release of Jackie Chan's Twin Dragons and my god I had an incredible time with this movie. The print was fecking stunning. I mean this is definitely one movie, I have to say one Jackie Chan movie that I can sit through with a smile on my face for its complete running time pretty much. I love it. I, I know it's not perfect by any means and I know there are certain flaws that are even more highlighted in high definition. But I just love it. There's something about this movie that just makes me feel good. And I had a great time watching this. Seeing that movie in high definition, holy shit, it is gorgeous, honestly. And here's how you know, here's how it'll blow your mind even more. Go to the trailer section, which are pretty cool to see. You've got the Hong Kong trailer probably running there for the longest time. But there's a Japanese trailer in there uh, and the Japanese TV spot. Both very odd takes on how this movie really is because it's definitely not a serious movie by any means, <laughs> but the Japanese uh, trailer edits have seem, seem to have made it into somewhat of a really dark thriller. Very interesting and well worth checking out, but the Japanese trailer in particular is pretty piss poor quality. Check that out and then jump into that movie and see the work done in restoring this film and bringing it to its ultimate viewing pleasure because it is friggin incredible it is just wonderful honestly i can't i can't thank idiot films enough for, for putting this out there on blu-ray because it is stunning and i'm actually going to go and watch it again <laughs> so i did watch this in its uh, uh the hong kong cut i tried watching the dimension cut and as, as as good as it looks i just couldn't i got through about five or ten minutes it's just terrible and it you know when you look back at the critics' views on that cut on that of that nineteen ninety nine release of this movie, it's not it's not fair. They should have released that Hong Kong cut. They should have released it, and I know they couldn't. It's a different time. Uh, Twenty years isn't a long time, but when you think about it now, for what we're getting today, to what was put out there twenty years ago for Jackie to make him a bigger star in Hollywood, they pretty much ruined that movie. It's a shit edit. Don't go near it, please. Uh, Stick with the Hong Kong cut, it's well worth it. In its original language, uh, there's three different choices of that, four different, including the English, which the English dub I do believe is the same one from my VHS. I was very happy to hear, and there's one particular line in there that kind of clarifies that when uh, Boomer calls Alfred Chung, hey there, Mr. Baldy. And it was always a line that had me in fits of giggles, and I, got, I jumped the audio to the English when it came to that scene and it sure enough, it sounded exactly like that. I've, it's been a while since I went back to that video, but it, it did make me laugh again. Whereas with the dimension uh, cut, that line is not in there. And of course, Jackie doubling, or dubbing his own voice. It just doesn't work. Anyway, uh, so yes, didn't watch it with the audio commentary yet. Uh, I will go back sometime and do that again. Uh, so in terms of the extra features though um i mean as you can see for the menu is grace for sean's artwork which is wonderful you got the slidey bar there going on uh, that idiots seem to be doing now uh, but what have we got there we have the new tung Wai, stephen tung Wai and james ha interview uh, where they look back at twin dragons this is fantastic uh runs for just under 14 minutes 
in total, uh, but totally worth checking out. Great to see them. Stephen looks a bit tired, but great to uh, hear their views on it and uh, listen to their thoughts about how the movie was made and what they did, what they did on set uh, together there. Uh, then you've got um, interesting. You've got the Japanese uh, scene. The scene from the Japanese version runs for about 23 seconds. I mean, yeah, it, it just, I mean, it didn't do anything for me, I have to admit. Neither did, I have to say, the Taiwanese deleted scenes. They run for about a minute in length. Uh, very, very poor quality. Great to add to it, don't get me wrong. But again, just didn't, just didn't do anything for me, I have to say. They, they were kind of just, they were just okay. Uh, then you've got the archive. The Archive EPK Q&A. This is a Hollywood interview for the, the Dimension release of Twin Dragons. Very interesting. Um, runs for just under three minutes in length. Pretty cool to hear Jackie. But again, these American interviewers, these, these women and men of Hollywood that don't know who this guy is and ask stupid fucking questions. I mean, they it, it does my head in when I see these interviews on YouTube where I see them on special editions like this. These are people that are put out there to interview this megastar and they have no idea who this these people or who Jackie Chan is and they ask the most stupidest bloody questions and you can see him looking so awkward. <laughs> Thankfully it's only for uh for three minutes or just under three minutes. But it's interesting to talk. You just know that he's not really enjoying the interview. And uh, then on top of that, what have we got here? Then you've got, oh yeah, then you've got the archival Jackie Chan interview, which was pretty cool. I have to say this is probably, probably my favorite special feature on here. I have to say, uh, this was shot with Jackie sitting in a car for 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> all delivered in English, which is pretty cool. And uh, it runs for about, yeah, about 20 minutes in length, I would say overall, maybe just slightly over 20 minutes there. Very candid interview, but really, really cool uh, to watch. Really cool to get Jackie being quite relaxed, actually, and enjoying the questions he's being asked for a change. This is how uh, an interview should have been done, Hollywood. Uh, then you've got the archival behind the scenes. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Yeah, the archival behind the scenes footage. Um, not incredible at all. I mean, definitely not enthralling. It's about 25 minutes in length and it's nothing really focuses on any action. It's not put together as a an official making of or anything like that. This is just behind the scenes footage um, of people hanging around set, of Jackie maybe setting up something, things like that. It's not anything to get overly excited about, I have to say. Quite disappointed in it. But hey, it's still cool to see. And again, as a diehard fan, it's always nice to see some new footage of Jackie, whatever it is. I, I don't care. It's still cool to have on there as an extra feature there. Um, excuse me. Then you've got all the trailers, as I mentioned before, and the English uh, opening and closing credits, which is what I would have had on the VHS. And it was cool to see it uh, cleaned up and restored in some respects. Uh, it just took me back. Um, again, I've never watched that. I haven't watched that video in about, my God, over 20 years. But it was cool to see. And obviously the dub that came with it there and the English credits that popped up. I mean, look, all in all, this is an incredible release. Uh, absolutely beautifully put together. Stunning artwork. Uh, fantastic book in there. That is totally well worth a read if you get your hands on this. Um, if you can't read, get someone else to read it for you or to you. Um, but all in all, uh, a fantastic disc. The print is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Had an amazing time with it. Thank you so much again, Idiot Films. Double thumbs up. Super glad it's in my collection. And this is out uh, next week from Idiot Films. So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.